and uh, welcome to this final part of tutorial about M unit. As you know, we are continuing uh, to do M unit test cases on our flow, which uh, you may have seen in uh, previous part of this tutorial, part one and part two. And I will highly recommend if you have not seen those videos, please. Uh, check them out on my YouTube channel so in continuation of that we will be writing a unit test case for our main flow and then we will write a functional test case for our complete flow from end to end so let's get going and start writing unit test case so as you know unit test case is something where we just test a part of a, a code a unit of a code so for this, our unit is this M unit uh, main flow, demo flow. Uh, so as you see, there is a set payload, a decision flow, and then there is a choice. So this choice is a part of flow. So we need to test this. And this decision flow is a flow reference. So we will not be testing that and we will be mocking it. And this set payload also we need to mock because uh, this uh, uh, flow reference requires this payload to do its functionality so if we don't set this we will get a error here so we need to mock this and we need to mock this decision flow so let's uh, create a test case let's go to new m unit test and let's name it uh, main flow test suit uh, then let's select M unit demo flow and let's hit finish. So now this uh, is created. So what we need to do, uh, I'm sorry, what we need to do is uh, we, as I said, we have to mock uh, two. Um, part of our flow one is set payload and another is uh, uh, flow reference so let's call mock so we, and this time we are going to drag it into here in the setup so whenever you drag or you write mock of any object or any functionality it will be shown in setup part of your test case and let's drag one more so we can uh, call it uh, okay let's see what it is so let's rename it mock set payload and here what we have to do we have to give a message processor so as you saw in last tutorial we mock it with mule colon and if so what kind of uh, processor it is it is a set payload so we write set payload and then we need to add a attribute and this attribute will give what uh, value to set or uh, which one to set payload is our uh, transform or uh, functionality and how it will be selected based on a name so last time I showed you its name and like this time I'm showing you with a doc name so before we write let's uh, I, as I already remember what's the name so I will write it and then I will go and show you what this doc name is so we set this set payload and then uh, we have to write then uh, return message what what's our return message so we want to return just empty payload so it, this is fine because uh, we are not going to go to actual flow and we are going to mock uh, the flow reference so this should be fine but uh, anyhow let's see what is this set payload this set payload if you go here this is the name this set payload here so I'm giving the doc uh, doc name 
So if I go into configuration of my flows uh, in set payload, you can see this is the doc name. So I have given that doc name with this set payload. You can, it can search that, and uh, since it's a set payload type, and then set payload name. So if I go behind in the configuration, so it looks something like this. Okay. Don't worry about this error. We since we have not given value, so it's giving those error. So it looks like message processor is mule set payload. Then uh, it's a name of our this mocking object, and then doc name set payload, and then we are returning empty payload. Now what we need to do, we have to mock this decision flow. So remember this name decision flow. Let's go. Let's go here. And let's give it a name mock decision flow reference. Okay. And uh, as you may have guessed, this is a flow. So we mock flow. And then uh, we have to give what to select. So we add that. And uh, it's uh, this time we are going to search by name. And our name is decision flow. This is <clears throat> the name and what we want to return we want to return a variable so okay let me drag it more so if you see here then return value is this and property we can add one property to our return payload and this property is going to be this property is going to be having a value of ah, okay let's go to XML and edit there because I don't like editing things here it's more easy to do things here okay so as you say we are returning uh, null payload and uh, not null sorry empty payload and our invocation property we have to return a uh, uh, key key is our uh, decision variable if you remember it's a uh, the decision variable is our flow variable D -E -C -R -S -I decision variable and uh, this is our value and uh, we are going to mock it with decision one okay D -E -C -I. okay so decision one and then our <coughs> flow reference is here you can see okay so once again I will explain this decision one calls this flow subflow and this subflow will call uh, uh, sorry this flow will call uh, two subflows this they will put a flow var which is decision variable so we have to mock this complete process so that is what we have done here First, we have mocked um, our uh, uh, flow and then we have mocked the return type of that flow. So the return type of that flow is a decision variable with a decision one value, right? Okay. So after that, we make a flow reference and then what we want to do with that flow reference? We want to assert whether our uh, flow here uh, based on the decision one is setting correct payload that is this payload so we are uh, setting this decision one was chicken let me copy it because I want to use it there to assert the uh, response okay so we go here we get assert and we want to assert equal the response so expected value is expected value is uh, okay I didn't copy properly so decision one was taken right and it's going to be in the payload so we don't have to give anything else okay I made a mistake I should have uh, sorry I want to assert payload not uh, any value so if I just give asset payload it will di directly give me 
I don't have to give uh, from where we have, we have to take it. We can uh, simply do this uh, using this assert also, but I have to mention what object to assert, maybe payload or flow var or something. But if I use assert payload, it will automatically compare this expected value with the payload. And we give uh, in case it fails, what message should be displayed. So we give, oops, wrong message. Okay, so asset payload. So this looks fine. Let's save it all. Let's give it a try. So where is my console? My console is here. So it's uh, starting to run. Whole boot up is going on now. It's going to run it. So pass. It means based on our this mocking object, it called this flow reference and it got this asserted value. Suppose if I don't do this, I want to assert something else. Let's see. Two based on our uh, this uh, flow decision variable. We know that it will be coming. Decision one was taken, but let's see if what happens if we assert something wrong then we will be able to see clearly in the error that uh, what value returned by this test case or this uh, flow reference. Okay, so this time it was failed. Why it was failed? But uh, that we expected decision 12 was taken, but we got decision 1 was taken, which is correct. So let's change it back to decision 1. And we are done with this. So similarly, you can write for decision two was taken also. You can mock your the objects and then get it there. So let's close this and let's write one. Uh, now we'll write one functional test case and we will check uh, from end to end. Since this is running at HTTP endpoint, I'm not going to mock HTTP endpoint. I'm just going to call this mUnit demo flow and I will be sending one uh, um, HTTP params uh, value and which will be uh, okay we have uh, done that let me see if how we did this okay no we have not done mocking okay so let's uh, write one test case for the, the functional test case when I say functional it's end-to-end -end testing so let's create one let's go to M unit and let's give uh, main flow functional uh, and air functional test. Let's see, select this or oh, maybe not. Okay, if I select this, ah, oh, sorry, I want to write for this. Let's hit finish. We have this, we have this, so okay, so it's only flow reference, but we want to do end to end test. So we want to set a message, a payload. Okay, let's set that. Um, set okay, so I can go to this, I can get a payload. And if I go here, this empty is fine. Okay. Ah, sorry, not payload. That's why I don't like drag and drop. I just remember what it is. So I will write M unit column set. And uh, my payload is uh, empty. Right? So I don't care about the payload since uh, if you remember it's a get kind of request we are doing. So I can give it a doc name. Doc name. This doc name is going to be set message. 
and uh, here I have to set to invocation properties so I need to put mUnit colon inbound so inbound properties this is inbound property and inside inbound properties I have to give what property to set okay mUnit colon inbound inbound property so let's just form format it once okay so inbound property which inbound property we want to set we want to set using key key and it will be http dot query dot params <coughs> and what's the value of that so we want to set value as it is our it, it's a param uh, sorry it's a map so we have to set it as a map so it will be if you remember it was its name was decision key and then the value is value one so we are going to test for value one i don't like this also I can just uh, give us and here and remove this part so that it formats much better I delete this okay so this is the setting of uh, emulate uh, data for our flow uh, so we call this flow and then we just assert whether proper message was taken or not and uh, since we have already done this for uh, our previous test case I'm just going to copy paste from there so we mess it. Uh, so once it flow runs with this decision uh, key of value one, this should come back, and this is how it looks here. So let's just run it. Okay, I need to save it. So here it's running and it passed so decision one was taken you can <clears throat> since it's a uh, pass you cannot see any message but if you just give uh, something wrong value and you run it then you will be able to see the what value came back and uh, all this code and uh, this XMLs and the sample you can get it from uh, my blogging website and I, I write blogs also there so you can go to easy harish at wordpress and you can actually check out all these blogs here so all the code is available here so I will be posting this here in this place also so once it loads sorry my internet is running a bit slow okay so you can see part one part one part two and various other blogs about uh, mule so i write here also you can check it out you can follow it so that you get real-time notifications so here you see it failed and once we go here decision one was taken but we expected decision 12. so this is how we write functional test case Okay, so I think we are done with this and this was final part of our Amunit test case. So if you like this video, please like, share and comment so that I know what I should improve. And please check this uh, blogging site and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching.